All right, in this video, we're gonna to continue to make our Adventures of Mario a little bit uh, more complex, more realistic using another bonus activity. In the last bonus video, we made our Goombas move back and forth to make it more challenging. In this video, we're going to add a Mario power-up, so something that you can actually grab that makes Mario uh, a little bit faster, makes him a little bit uh, larger, and if he hits the Goombas, the Goombas go away rather than Mario dies or loses a life. So I already have a power-up image uh, uploaded here, Mario underscore power-up. So we're gonna do a couple things in multiple places. The first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put the power-up on the screen, uh, and then we're gonna do a collision where if Mario gets the power-up, he changes his characteristics, so he changes his size, he changes his speed, um, and then we're going to change the Goomba collisions where if the power-up is true, so if the power-up is happening, then the Goombas will actually die rather than Mario dying. All right, so we're gonna do that one at a time. Let's start with just by placing our power-ups here. So I'm gonna do it underneath my Goomba. Power-up. We need a, uh, a variable for the X and Y, so I can't use P1X um, because I uh, already used P1X for Mario, so I'm gonna do UX for U uh, power-up, so UX. And I wanna put this on one of the platforms. So I'm just gonna look at my C4, I think, is where I wanna put it. So I'm just gonna put this right next to C4. So let's do 150 for X, for U1, Y is gonna be 250, and these might change. Okay, so I'm gonna say U1 for power up one. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and do var you with, and we're just gonna make this thing the same size as the Goombas. So we're gonna make it 50 var u height equals 70, okay, like so. I'm just gonna close that guy out. And let's make a multimedia variable called var power up. That's gonna keep track of our Mario, all right? Now, let's go down to our preload and let's drop in the image of our power up here. So we're gonna say power up equals load image Mario underscore power up dot PNG, like so. And let's go to our game and we're gonna place this in our game here. So I'm just gonna make, uh, I don't know where we're gonna put this. We'll put this all the way at the bottom of the game. We'll just make a new section called power up. So first let's place it by saying image power up comma u1x comma u1y comma u width comma u height, obviously with the same grammar and punctuation as what we had in global. Let's press play. There we go, so we have our power up. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. So let's just go change our size here. Let's do width 30, height 30, 120 for position. Let's try that. Oh, that's way too small. Uh, let's do 40, 40, 260. Let's try that. Perfect, so there's our power up. So if we get the power up, uh, Mario will of course grow and gain his speed. So, let's do a simple collision here. Um, and actually, you know what, we're gonna make one more variable before we do that. We're gonna make a variable that keeps track of whether the power-up is active or not. So we're gonna call that uh, up, because I have already used the word power-up. So up equals false. So this is, does Mario have the power-up? All right. So let's go ahead and go down to where we've drawn our power up here, our power up code. All right, and we're gonna do a very simple collision. If P1X is greater than or equal to U1X minus U width divided by two, and then P1, P1x is less than or equal to u1x plus u width divided by two. So that's saying that we're 
greater than the left hand side of the power up, but uh, less than the right hand side of the power up. And and p one x is great. Or I'm sorry, p one y is greater than or equal to u one y minus u height divided by two. And and p one y is less than or equal to u one y plus u height divided by two. All right, so this is hit power up. All right, if that happens, a couple things take place. First off, up now equals true. Okay, so Mario has power up. Second, Mario's got to grow. His size changes. So we're going to say, uh, I think we called it Mario with, or we call it player with, what do we call our Mario with? Let's see, let's see, let's see. P width and P height, and actually we're going to add a variable called P speed, because we didn't have that before. So let's say that P speed starts at two by default, that's how fast Mario can move by default, okay? So let's go down to our power up. Power up. P width equals, um, I don't know, make it 100. P height equals, let's say 300. So Mario grows. Let's say P speed now equals six. Mario can move faster. Uh, and I think that's all we need. We can add a sound effect. Why don't we grab the Mario coin sound effect for now. So we'll just say um, coin sound dot play right here. So we'll play our coin sound. And then of course we have to close, close got power up. All right, let's give that a try. Let's go try to get our power up here. Awesome. So Mario's way bigger. He's probably a little bit too big. Uh, and the power up doesn't disappear. I forgot about that. So let's make Mario a little bit smaller. Let's make him like 80 and 200. And the power up has to go away. So that way you can't continue to get the power up. All right, so that's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to move the power up off the screen. So we're going to say ux equals minus. A thousand. So move power up off screen after we grab it. Okay, so let's try that again. All right, so now Mario's bigger, which is awesome. He can still die, obviously. So we need to go ahead and now change it where if he's gotten the power up, uh, we he, he can't die anymore. Also, I don't think that speed is active, right? So let's go down to our key press functions real quick. Um, this is what Mario can move by right, minus and plus. So instead of saying minus five and plus five, we're gonna say P speed and P speed. Okay, so let's try that. So right now, if I press play, Mario should be moving slowly, probably too slow. And if I get the power up, I'm moving much quicker. All right, so let's actually change Mario's default speed. Two's a little bit too slow. Let's make P speed three. Uh, we'll make it four. And then we'll make the power up eight. So that way there's a nice big, you're moving twice as fast if you have the power up. So where's my power up speed, power up speed, right here, eight. Okay, now what we wanna do is uh, in our Goomba statement, so where's our Goomba? So right here, um, this is where we lose a life, okay? This has to go inside of another if statement. So this only happens if we don't have the power up. So I'm gonna drop in an if up equals equals false. Mario does not have power up. Underneath P1 equals, uh, P1Y equals 375, we're gonna put a close bracket. Close up false. And just to make this easier to read, I'm just gonna tab these things over so you can see that these are now part of this if up equals false. If up equals equals true. So this is Mario has power up. Then we want the Goomba to go away. All right, so let's actually do the coin sound dot play. So we'll play our coin sound 
And then we're going to say that g1x equals negative 1,000. Goomba, go away. And we have to close this. Close up equals true. Or up true. All right, so inside of our collision, I'm just going to enter this here to make it slightly easier to read. Inside of our Goomba 1 collision, we've now broken it down. That if up is false, if Mario hits the Goomba and up is false, he dies. If Mario hits the Goomba and up is true, the Goomba actually goes away. Okay, so Mario actually gets to keep his lives because he has the power up. Let's do the same thing for Goomba 2. So I'm just going to drop in a if up equals equals false, no power up. Tab this stuff over real quick. Close, no power up. And then if up equals equals true, I'm just gonna copy this code and drop that right there. So close up is true. All right, so now that's for Goomba 1, Goomba 2. Uh, oops, gotta change this to G2X. G2X for Goomba 2. Let's give that a shot. So if I press play, no power up, lost life, lost life. All right, this time, let's grab our power up and let's hit our Goomba. Uh, trying to hit the Goomba. All right, Goomba went away, Goomba went away, coin, oops, one. One issue we're running into is that Mario, when he might be too big because I'm actually hitting my platforms. So let's make power up Mario a little bit smaller. Um, what is Mario's actually starting position? So let's see, Mario starts at 50 and 100. Uh, let's go to our power up and make him just a little bit bigger than his initial starting position. So power up, power up, power up. Here we go. Uh, let's go 70. And uh, we're at 100, uh, 30, 130. Let's try that. So Mario only grows a little bit. A little bit. Goomba goes away. Goomba goes away. Goomba goes away. Ta da! So there we go. Added bonus of a power up. And obviously, if you uploaded different sound effects to make, you know, for when you have the power up or whatever, you could place those sounds rather than the coin sound or whatever it is that you're trying to place.